After that uh, wonderful dance from the uh, Confucius Institute of the uh, Angeles University, we now go to um, our discussion of people and places and uh, in the next segment, uh, Philippine China Focus, where we will feature a very crucial, I think historic discussion on a win-win solution presented by Brigadier General retired uh, Victor Corpus uh, to various fora already and I understand the paper will be published in a, in a uh, large, one of the largest Asian uh, newspaper uh, very soon. And uh, so let me introduce to you uh, our two guests. First of all, Dr. Aaron uh, Jed Rabena, who I've uh, known for the past year or so, maybe two years. Uh, he has just uh, come back from uh, China, from uh, Shandong. Yes, sir. Uh, he uh, studied uh, international relations, uh, doctorate in international relations at Shandong Un University. You've yes, been in sir. China for six years. Yes, sir. Total of six years. We'll, we'll uh, reminisce your six years in China and uh, uh, ask you about your insights into the future of Philippine and China, China relations. Yes, and of sir. course, uh, everybody knows General Victor Corpus known to all sides of the political fences in the country, uh, beloved and hated by many sides too, but uh, one uh, without doubt uh, will say that he is a nationalist, a patriot, uh, who has sacrificed a lot for this nation. And uh, he has a vision of Philippine-China relations, what he calls the win-win uh, 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 relationship. And uh, uh, I think a very um, both historic as well as novel concept that uh, people are talking about uh, that has emanated from uh, uh, General Victor Corpus. So uh, let me ask uh, Jed and Vic uh, to say hello first. Jed? Sir, uh, good morning. And um... uh, 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 Sir, uh, 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 it's a great pleasure sir, to be here and uh, in your new program, sir. And uh, it's a, it's a, it's an honor, sir, to be here. Okay. Well, it is our honor and privilege to have you and uh, to tell, for you to tell us about your six years in China, your studies, and your insights. And general, say hello to our mm -hmm. uh, international audience. And maybe also uh, we have uh, uh, international reporters watching us because they know that in this segment where we discuss, especially later on the focus on China Philippines or Philippines China we talk about policy foreign policy uh, uh, issues and questions uh, general mm -hmm. good morning to our uh, viewers okay and um, well very few words but a man of action but later on we'll have many words from uh, the general yes, so Vic uh, how was your uh, six years in China was this six continuous years Yes, sir. Uh, continuous, and uh, I took my both my masters and PhD at uh, Shandong University, sir, uh, both in international relations, and uh, it was uh, really a great experience sir, for me. And uh, so I, this constitutes at least one fourth of your life, uh, yeah, the yes, six years. Uh, you can put it that and way. And maybe <laughs> uh, one third of your conscious life because you were a child <laughs> in the first six years, no? Yes, sir. or seven years. And uh, what uh, brought you to uh, sacrifice so much time uh, and uh, be away from your home, your family? Well, uh, well, to me, sir, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it uh, sacrifice. Hey, is that you sitting but, down there? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> You're uh, emperor. Uh, uh, emperor. Uh, yes, sir. This is uh, Jed Pu Yi. <laughs> this was in Beijing, sir. Okay. I, th I think, uh, I think three or four years ago. Okay. Yes, and. Uh, and you and are a warrior here. <laughs> at the Great Wall, sir. At the Great Wall. The Great okay. Wall, yes. And this uh, one, sir, at our university, um, we invited, uh, the school university, the school invited uh, scholars from Harvard. This one is Joshua Goldstein. And this one is from a, um, an Nanjing restaurant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this one, and sir, was lecturing. Du during our defense, sir. This, uh -huh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, was your defense in Chinese or in English? It was in English, it sir, English. but uh, the abstract, sir, was in Chinese. Where is this? In Shandong? This one, sir, is uh, the hometown of Bruce Lee. Ah, okay. In, uh, in uh, Foshan. It's in Guangdong province. Sir. Ah, okay. Yeah. And that's you in a Chinese garb. <laughs> huh? And yes. the Chinese uh, yes, shoes, sir. Kung Fu shoes. Very, very nice place, sir, and uh, very historic. Very, very popular because of, uh, of course, the Kung Fu icon. Bruce okay. Lee. 
So, so yeah. yeah, give us an update of your views now. You know the controversies, you know the uh, initiatives that uh, are very um, positive from uh, President Duterte. What do you see in the cards for these two yes, countries yes. and this region? So just to answer to, you, to your previous question, yes. I, I wouldn't call it a sacrifice. Sir. Yes, yes. I'd say it's an investment. Mm -hmm. Considering that China's um, mm -hmm. profile continues to increase mm -hmm. and its importance also likewise continues to grow. Mm -hmm. So there really is a need to know her, to engage her, so that uh, we would know how would, we, how would we be benefited of China's rise, yes, of her rise. And generally, if you have any questions, please uh, just uh, uh, butt in. You know? uh, <laughs> so I'm, very, from, yeah, yeah, I'm very, I'm very optimistic, sir, about our relations with China, especially mm -hmm. now that we have um, a new leadership mm -hmm. under President Duterte. Actually, China has also signaled their mm -hmm. um, warmth and mm -hmm. reception to uh, President Duterte's um, overtures. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently, President Ramos mm -hmm. was in Hong Kong meeting with his counterparts. And a 10-point guideline or uh, I think consensus was signed mm -hmm. focusing on how to grow our relationship, bilateral relationship. Mm -hmm. So I think this is uh, a way forward. And um, President Duterte being the new president, of course, signals a new foreign policy, a new China policy, and also a new uh, diplomatic strategy. These initial uh, gingerly steps towards uh, rapprochement uh, with uh, China is also threatened by many other uh, factors and forces that would wish to uh, disrupt it. Uh, do, you, do you see some truth in what I just said? Actually, sir, I think there are sectors who there are some sectors who are opposed to what's uh, what's going on, mm -hmm. what's, uh, the president that the the president is taking. But we have to um, take into consideration what our national interest. That's uh, one of the. Uh, uh, controversial uh, interpretations, or you have many inter uh, controversial or contradictory interpretations of, of the national, national interest. interests. Uh, how would you define it? I'd, sure, I'd, I'd, I'd put it as um, um, uh, friends uh, uh, with everyone and uh, mm -hmm. enemies to none. But how does that benefit the country? Uh, or engagement I'm, with I'm putting you on the spot because... Isolation from uh, none. <laughs> some would say that Oh, the national interest is to defend our territory and our claims in the uh, South China Sea, which they have remained uh, renamed the West Philippine Sea, which nobody in the world uses anyway, the West Philippine Sea. But uh, some would interpret it as that is a national interest. Uh, so we, we, of course, have a national interest in settling our disputes in, mm -hmm. in the South China Sea or mm -hmm. West Philippine Sea. But, of course, it's not just our national interest. We also have what we call, we may call, national economic interest mm -hmm. and that would mean engaging China more, constructing more bilateral mechanisms with the People's Republic. Are those two mutually exclusive? In other words, if you are concerned with the national economic uh, progress and prosperity, does that ex uh, exclude uh, uh, the uh, controversial uh, China Sea uh, claims uh, or does uh, being concerned with the China Sea claims of the Philippines uh, exclude the other? Actually, sir, they're com complementary. complementary. Let's say that we have a smooth sailing, positive diplomatic and political relationship or economic relationship. What could happen is that this could spill over or provide a positive atmosphere as to how we could solve the festering mm -hmm. disputes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, you, of course, uh, would not fail to notice that some can be very hostile to those who have a positive view of Philippine-China relations as uh, the uh, West Point, uh, no, West Point, ba? No, Annapolis graduate uh, Roy Logoles uh, wrote uh, a nasty piece uh, in response to your article. Uh, where did that appear? In Manila Times, I think? Uh, on, in Rappler, sir. Rappler, Rappler, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we would have to understand, sir, that there are people who have different um, opinions and views. Mm -hmm. But it is. You're very polite to him. He was not very polite to you. <laughs> ah. But what we could do, sir, is introduce our insights and ideas in a constructive and positive manner. It is true that this is not the mainstream view, sir, but we have to think of the long term as well and mm -hmm. we have to balance our relations with all our partners. Do you see any positive uh, and progressive uh, change in attitude among Filipinos? And uh, there are, of course, those who will never change their views. But do you sense anything you bit back from China and back here in Manila for how many weeks now? Uh, already uh, two or three weeks, I believe, sir. Okay, and do you sense any... Uh, change for the better or it's a change for the worse? 
Actually, sir, I think the the uh, our public is counting on the president mm -hmm. as to how uh, what approach he would take in resolving our mm -hmm. issues with China. Mm -hmm. And actually, the Chinese public is also optimistic, sir. Yeah. Um, as regards our president, because um, the way he manages our uh, dispute with China is different from his uh, from the, from his predecessor. But somebody is very unhappy. And that's the United States of America, because the way the president uh, sometimes uh, describes the U.S. as the importer of terrorism to the <laughs> Middle East and so on, is so contrasting to the past decades upon decades upon decades of uh, uh, Philippine obeisance to the United States of America. Yeah. Actually, sir, I think that um, if we sit down at, in a negoti negotiating table with China, and uh, it benefits the region and, of course, both parties. I think it is also, or should be welcomed by the United States yeah. because, I mean, after all, I mean, they, they've been saying that they want the disputes to be settled peacefully in accordance with the rule of law and I think uh, international law as well. And I think all this um, could be done bilaterally. So That's, that's where I will ask the General V. Corpus the question. After the arbitration, uh, why is it now, after the arbitration, uh, that the U.S. has sent a battle cruiser or a warship to visit China? Uh, is that what sign? What do you think that signals? I, I think uh, that signals the uh, uh, that uh, the United States uh, is not accepting the challenge that was issued by by the Chinese admiral. Which is what challenge? Yeah. Because uh, the, uh, the 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 head of the Philippine of the Chinese uh, Navy uh, challenged the U.S. Navy that they are prepared to go to war if uh, the uh, United States will take the uh, islands by force. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a sort of a sign that. Okay, we uh, are friends again. Is that, is, yeah. Could that be interpreted that way? Yes. Okay, that's a good sign. Uh, and uh, what do you think? Uh, are there um, overtures for uh, reopening of uh, friendly, uh, continuing friendly talks between China and the U.S. also? Yes, I, I believe recently um, there was a U.S. warship. Yeah. That made the port call to somewhere in in the northern part of that's China. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So I think while while hostilities are there, they continue to engage each other to reduce um, tensions and um, build um, conf yeah. build confidence. I'll ask again the general. There is a scheduled uh, Russia-China naval exercise in September. Yes. You're aware of that. Yes. What? How do you read? Uh, what do you read into that? Well, I, I think that uh, if there will be a, uh, a, an armed conflict in the South China Sea, Russia and China will uh, act together. Maybe that is why uh, the United States has to rethink its uh, uh, aggressive position. Uh, that might is, be one of the reasons. Yes. So finally, before we go to the mm -hmm. main um, discussion of General Corpus, uh, what would you like to tell our people about your stint and your view of Philippine-China relations, your stint in China also. Well, it was uh, very memorable, sir. I think we. You did not find a wife there. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Not yet. Sir. Not yet. <laughs> well, I, I tell our uh, countrymen, sir, to um, uh, <coughs> know China more, and because she is our neighbor, sir, and she is continu she continues to rise, and so um, there is much more to China than just um, food. I think our Kababayan sir should see the modern side of China. Okay. Well, I will listen to uh, General uh, Corpus in a while and how he feels that uh, the uh, old ties of progress and prosperity can be renewed with a new novel uh, idea from general, the general. Okay, let's take this break and then we'll focus on the presentation of General Victor Corpus. Mm -hmm.